What's up? This is HG News here. So, as you can see, my Wi Fi is trying to connect to a different internet source. I guess it's, I don't know, it's not working correctly, but whatever. This video is about the tax increases. It's amazing what our governor has done to actually pay these voters to vote for his things for Chicago. He's a multi billionaire. And he gets, he's going to get a lot of money now today and later on. And my computer is, of course, messing up like usual. But, you know, we owe enough and we got more taxes coming. His Democrats up there are getting richer by the minute. More of our tax dollars are going towards, I guess, Chicago, I guess, the waste. They're supposed to have done all these taxes and got the bridges fixed. And all that, etc. And they never done it, so they're kind of been lying to us uh, for the state, and it's it's just a mess. The not not only is in big deep trouble. We don't have long until we have to sell our house, because you know we're not moving yet, but we're thinking about it in the past. And depending on the job and how my dad's jobs go, and hopefully he still has his job wherever it is. It's not been safe over there, and you know. Just how it is. I mean, it's it's they don't listen, and then you know a lot of these prices, like the food items, are gonna go up um, since the thirty cents a gallon has went into effect today. And I think now on it's gonna be a dollar, like a one penny a year until you know it goes up to a certain amount. But yeah, it's gonna cost us more. Something I don't want to look forward to. I don't have to drive, but I have to get gas in a way. I don't know what I'm going to do once my parents pass on. And I, if we are still living in the state, we may be moving out. Who knows? But the taxes, they were going to do the one cent, the five, seven cent bag tax. And they decided they didn't need to do They They agreed to something else as well as screaming tax and... There's still a cigarette tax that's a dollar extra. Instead of being dollar eighty something or dollar ninety, it's gonna be like a dollar extra. As well as, you know, alcohol tax is going up today. I think for the youngest age, I think it's like twenty or twenty one for smoking. So there's gonna be a lot of complaints for that because they rose they raised the age for smoking for our state, so because they thought maybe it wasn't a good idea to be smoking at a young age and I'm not being smart to write a state anymore, I'm just telling you that this is the things that are happening in, in my state and he doesn't really care about certain annoying people as he would because there's nothing really down here in the state everything that's technically really good is up north in Chicago and Chicago's been, been hit with a lot of $11,000 property tax I believe it or not as they say and there's a buddy of my dad's who moved from Chicago to St. Louis because he was paying over $11,000 a year in property tax it's it's outrageous I pay like 3000 or more in tax for here and now they're trying to increase the tax rate for 2020 for next year so it'd be a little bit more higher as well as the higher up people will pay more so yeah they're trying to really suck it from us like they're really they're asking for trouble, but a lot of these voters were paid by him. And that's kind of unfair because we didn't want this. But then they only agree. It's like what, what, what it was two years ago or more with the, the net brutality rules for the internet where all these ISPs paid these um, lawmakers and better people to actually take these protections away and that's why you have solar internet everywhere and I know I see a lot as well and they removed those protections under title 2 net net totality you know for internet of course where they can't slow you down and block your access now they can do all that I guess they were paid a lot of money to lobby these people and they're not gonna go without it I mean my internet bill has finally went up because the six month thing was ended, so now it's 55 a month. Like, it's another $10 I gotta spend, and then whatever else I need for, you know, I gotta save another 
property taxes are coming, I think, in two months, next month, so it, it's, we got a lot to owe. We have this house, and then we have the other one. They're selling their current house currently right now. They're getting ready to get get it done and get on the market as soon as possible because, you know, it's just times are tough, you know. We technically don't need a house in Ode Coin anymore. We just need to be closer to me. They just need to be closer to my house and make sure I... If I have any bleeds, I'm fine. So if you know the channel, go ahead and subscribe and comment like below here. As well as put that but push that bell notification button so you will get notified every time a video comes out on my channel so you never miss one minute. So I also like to have a lot of likes on this video as well as shares, so it'd be really appreciated. I know I can't say it correctly, but it'd be nice, you know, to have a lot of likes and good comments about this video and the other ones I've been putting out, you know, I gotta do certain things, you know, I was off for like, I was working for like six days straight, and I got them off today and tomorrow, but then I gotta work for a while again, so they're working me every weekend, it seems like, yeah, I'm used to it, it just, I don't really get a lot of weekends off down here in Illinois with Walmart, I just, I just don't, I mean, I get maybe once a month or two. That's about it. I'm working the rest of them pretty good. And one of the days this week, I'm working the 49 shifts. Like, man, can you just make a 9 to 6? <laughs> Whatever. I'm still getting pretty good hours enough for me, for my insurance and everything else. I mean, I know her Florida insurance is a little better. And the hospitals are better. But until then, we're not quite ready. And I don't know if we want to do it at all yet. They were talking about it. It's a possibility if it stink gets worse, we have to have that option, and I can I'll, I can always transfer to a different Walmart store across the nation. You know, it doesn't matter. But once I do that and I get to that store, I gotta wait six months until I can do it again. So you know, Walmart allows that for full time associates. I've been like that for like three, four years because my medical is more important than some things, and I was getting near 26 years of age, which. Well, I mean, eventually I would lose my parents' insurance, which I did, because I turned 26 a couple years ago. But whatever, I'm on my 29th year coming up, I think, next year, I think, coming up 2020. So, yeah, I'll be that old on March 1st, believe it or not. I'm getting a little more balder on the hair. That's coming, I know that. But before anything else, I think everything's fine, I think. I'm just aging. I'm getting older because my mom's father was, you know. He went bald early. Dress is the big part. That's been pretty high in the last nine years. Just of work in my dad's workplace and his family not having the luck of just just plain out coming down with cancer and just dying or some kind of thing happening, you know. We lost a lot of our family in the last ten years or more. One was from heart attack, one from another cancer. So, I do have cancer on both sides. I gotta get screened, I know that. I don't know when. My blood's so thin, I have to have blood thickener. And it's, it'd be a nightmare. We got the Cedric paperwork uh, filled out. So, I, for one year, if so if I actually need to miss, I can miss at least a week a month. And that's it, where, how they do it with the doctor this year. Where they approve it, and we'll get no points for one more, so it doesn't go against me. He just won't give me the points. If I had to really miss because of a bleeding episode or surgery or anything else, we need to be off for any fear related illness, which I'm born with, so there's no cure yet. But hopefully, in the next 30, 40 years, it may be a while until they add genetic therapy, you can actually kind of reverse the, this, this disease because it can be painful at times. And I've been through that road plenty of times where it really took a toll on me for the bleeding and then you know people with hemophilia you usually last a little less longer even with all the therapies maybe five ten years less because of the bleeds and the joints and different things like that and I had few of those in the past I had one lace in the joint in my leg so I I do have aches and pains at times and you know it's just how it is some of those bleeds weren't treated correctly and some were Treated pretty good for the most part, but there were a few that were not treated fully, and 
part of that might have been because the mess might have been expired back then. Or my hemophilia worsened temporary to have more of a bleeding rate, a higher risk of bleeding. Because there was a severe side to my mom's father's family. Once that was so severe, one was mild. So I'm technically, I, I can have any of those. I did have severe bleeds in the past. That's long past. You know, it just wakes you up. I mean, I was lifting a pool. I think it was like Saturday evening, I think afternoon. I was like, yeah, I lifted it and like, ooh, some pain in the arm. Luckily, it wasn't a bleed diet. You know, I checked, you know, with management and they're thinking, like, it's just a pulled muscle. And the next day, it feels a lot better. It's just, it feels a lot better right now. I did that before in the legs, but 20 years ago or more, and, you know, in Mitri and outside, you know, running. But it is possible to pull your muscles, and luckily there wasn't a bleed. I would know, because I, I wouldn't be able to move my left arm at all up anywhere because of the bleed being so bad. It doesn't take long once to get any kind of damage in there and bleeding starts. Especially when your little body doesn't know how to make factory rate correctly. And that results in bleeding because my body doesn't know how to make a, a very important clotting protein that's technically not there, but part way. Until then, that, pro that protein is replaced. I'll have these bleeds whenever I have them. It's hard to say, but, you know, hopefully the road goes real smooth in the future and I don't have to go through all of these uh, medical ER trips. Which was in the past, but they're long gone. They're over. Nothing you can, I could do back then. I mean, it's already past me, so yeah. Thanks for watching. See ya.